Thank you so much for inviting me to Thankar Mahavir University and ICC is conducting such a wonderful program for the students to motivate them. And uh, I feel glad to uh, take this session. As you have mentioned about my profile, I'm a sports physiotherapist and as well as I am running my chains of physiotherapy clinics. So both the fields are completely different. So I have two profiles. So I want to discuss or share my success story. So I'll start with my sports career. So why I have become sports physiotherapist, why I have choose to become a sports physiotherapist. So when I was doing my BPD, so MV City College has organized one workshop about kinesiotaping. So MV City College has organized one uh, workshop on kinesiotaping and uh, the whole, done by the uh, Andrew Lippers. So first time I met any sports physiotherapy during that workshop, and I feel motivated the way he was treating so many uh, celebrities, cricketers, and patients and all, that they have decided to become sports physiotherapist. And uh, as well as I am a sports, uh, sports player since my childhood, I play badminton, cricket, and so many other sports. So my area of interest has started developing that day on, onwards. That day, he has shown me his picture with Sachin Tendulkar. In two, I'm talking about in 2004. So, for I set my goal. So, one day I want to become sports physiotherapist. And I want to reach that level. So, I can represent myself as, as a sports physiotherapist with the Indian team. And I start, started working on my profile. So, as soon as I finished my bachelor's, bachelor of physiotherapy, I have keep contacting so many sports academies. I have applied my resume to local cricket association and all, but there was not such vacancies. Then I have realized if you do master's in sports, then you have a huge scope. Then that day I have decided to do my master of physiotherapy in orthopedics and sports injuries. From And I have done from the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Health Science, Bangalore. As soon as I have finished my master's in sports physiotherapy in 2007, I again applied for the sports job. So that time also they said, we don't need sports physiotherapist. Uh, we, they don't see as a difference between bachelor and masters. So that, that time master of physiotherapy was such a new thing for them, for as well as the association. So they, they have appointed all bachelor of physiotherapist. So I need to explain them about the difference between bachelor and master. Oh. And then we have shown them results. We have treated that players give them feedback. Then they are realizing, then after that, they appoint, started appointing sports physiotherapy in Gujarat, especially I'm talking about Gujarat Cricket Association. Then I thought okay, my knowledge of my knowledge should not limit it with the only sports field. I want to treat patients also. So I, we have established O3 physiotherapy clinic in 2008. So I started my first clinic in 2008 in uh, Ahmedabad only. And uh, we have purely uh, mainly focused on pain and sports rehab. So we have started, uh, establishing clinic is, as you know, you need few things like preparation of business plan, financial management, location, equipment, staff, marketing, and you have so many ch different challenges. So being an entrepreneur, you should, focus on all these aspects. So we have decided to purchase one property to start my first clinic. So my friend says, why, why don't you go for rental properties? Why you want to own properties when you're opening a first clinical setup? So that day I, I explained him, okay, my patients want me to available at the same place. Rental premises, we don't find stability. So in a longer run, after five or 10 years, we have a royalty of that value. So that I don't want to lose that value. So we have started uh, owning properties. So first clinic, I have owned that properties and we have started for, uh, our clinic with uh, clinical setups over there with the pain and sports rehab. And in 2008 to 2022, we have treated more than 30,000 patients. And right now we have six clinics in Ahmedabad. So this is how we have established O3 Physio Clinic. But in between this journey, we have 
continuously working with the Indian team also, as, as well as running my clinic also. So I, I need to balance both the sides of these things. So most of the therapists, when they come for the uh, visit our clinic, so they have so many questions for how you have managed both the things. So I, I, is, I have, we need to manage those things with the team of physiotherapists. Right now, we have more than 30 physios team in, uh, in O3. So first time I have started my sports career journey in 2010, when Commonwealth Games, we are going, India is going to host Commonwealth Games. So I have applied for the CWG and they had an interview in Kolkata and I applied for that interview. I got selected and I was posted at Delhi in the Tughlaqabad Karnising shooting range in 2010 with the Indian shooting team as a sports physiotherapist. So it was a completely different experience, biggest event India is going to host and more than 7,000 athletes have come for come to pass, participate in that event specific event and uh, india has record medals got record medals more than 100 medals we have achieved so far highest medals we have achieved in commonwealth games in 2010 delhi and in that commonwealth game also our shooting team has won maximum medals highest medals so it was a completely different experience being uh, as a sport physiotherapist working with the like uh, players like Abhinav Bindra, Gagan Narang, and so many uh, ace shooters. So you feel so proud and that those things motivate me more and more. So once uh, CWG has finished in 2010, so what next? So most of the, my friends, colleagues, they went back to the, their clinics and they, again, they started working the same routine practice. And but I don't want to leave uh, my sports career at that level. So I have applied for so many sports associations like football team, badminton team, so many different different teams. And I was giving them interviews and, and what benefit sport physiotherapist can give to the athletes. So we need to explain that the associations. So finally, Indian Federation of India, Swimming Federation of India, they understood the thing, benefits of the Keeping sports with the team helps a lot. So most of the, before that, they used to think like that in swimming, there is no onset of injury. So only they keep physical during the training, but they don't, physio doesn't travel with the team during the competitions. So first time they have appointed me for the London Olympics 2012 as a sports physiotherapist for Indian swimming team. So we had a training on championship at Malaysia Open in 2011. So I, first time I had trial with the Indian team in 2011 uh, for Malaysia Open Swimming Championship. We had a very good performance. Athletes have very good performance over, over them. Two, three athletes got sele selected for the Olympics also from after that event. And we came back uh, to India and we are preparing athletes for the London Olympics. So Sandeep Sejwal, Vritavan Khade, if you uh, know these athletes, they have participated in 2012 London Olympics. Uh, Rehan Pocha was also there. So since 2011 to till to the, uh, 2020, uh, 2017, I was part of the Indian swimming team. So I was part of the 2015 Asian All Age Group Championship Thailand. Uh, we have, we went to in 2016. We have a one competition at Sri Lanka. Then we went to Japan for one competition. Then Uzbekistan. So I have traveled with the Indian team for the so many competitions. So I would like to share one incident. How sports physiotherapist is important at the at onset of uh, at, at sorry at the place of the event. So in 2015, when we are preparing for the Asian or Age Group Championship. One athlete, we Indian swimmer, Ramanand Sharma, he was preparing for more than two years for that event. And last year, last event also, he got three, four medals for Indian team. So he was our main athlete. And we, me and my coach are sitting at the pool and we, we are just watching the training. And he did jump in the swimming pool and suddenly he got some shoulder injury. And it was partial. We went for the MRI in order partial rotor cuff tear injury and immediately coach said after three days we are leaving for our championship and our main players got injured so whether we sh what we should do so i said coach sir it's a partial tear injury 
if we do, we treat, we have three, four days, we treat that injury and we use the kinesio tap. So that, that those tap is going to help him to stabilize that injury and injury will not aggravate it and he, he, can, he can perform. So coach was surprised to say even four days before he was not able to raise his hand and you are talking about after four days here or five days he are going, he's going to perform at the international level. So I said, sir, give me 24 hours and let, let me give you answer tomorrow. We went for MRI. We see the injury was not a grade one only, but it was severe pain. We did icing treatment, laser therapy, ultrasound therapy, and physio treatment. And he was feeling better next day. So I said, because he's going to perform, we, we, we should take him in our team to uh, Malaysia, uh, sorry, uh, Thailand. So he said, okay, if you're confident in him, then we'll take him. Then we went to Thailand. His event was after four or five days. We did regular physio sessions morning and evening. And I, I, I said to him, you'll get only one day practice before your event day. And we did tapping. And he, he in practice also, he was feeling minor pain, but he was able to perform. And you won't believe, in next day event, he has done all his four events. Out of four events, he got one gold medal and two silver medals for Indian team. So coach was so happy after seeing these things. See, in these incidents, if you can imagine if physio was not there at the pool poolside or at the place of the event, he might, the coach doesn't have knowledge about this injury. So due to, and patient was having severe pain, the player athlete was having severe pain. So they might drop him. So that injury, due to, because injury and physio management, uh, uh, physio management after that injury, India got three medals for, for our country. So that day I felt so much proud about myself becoming a sport physiotherapist. So I, I was working since four or five years, uh, six, six to seven years in field. That day I feel the more importance about sports physiotherapy. So we keep upgrading uh, 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 guiding our coaches also. You should have whatever event you do, even grassroots level also, you should have sport physiotherapy on site to prevent such injuries as well as immediate management for the such injuries. So this is how we work in the, in the international level of, uh, as a sport physiotherapist. Then in clinical establishment, what you, um, that is the main focus of today's uh, topic. Uh, how I've started my journey. So I, as I said, I own properties because I don't want to go for rental and I want my patient to be there for throughout the, my life at the same place. Whenever even they visit after five years or 10 years or if they refer any other patients. So we should, our clinic should be there. So we want stability. So more easiest way people find rentals property and after five or 10 years, they find challenges when rents are so going so high. So initially it looks very attractive. When you have rental of 25,000 rupees and you own the property, you have an EMI of 50,000 rupees. So you always go for the easiest option. You go for the rental properties, but especially those who are, have uh, financial uh, backup or something like that, always you should, Whenever you are planning your clinic, you should always go for the, the buying a property. In the, of course, you need to select the good locations, good residence area combination, prime location, so patient can access those area very easily. So location is very very important when you uh, select for for your clinic. So always, for it's my personal view, and so far we have got very good success. For example. When I started my first clinic in that area, there was a 14, 15 more clinics. And out of 15, there was a 10 on rental clinics. But we can see after 10 years, almost all the rental clinics, they need to shut down because not they are doing good. They are doing good. But rentals are so expensive after 10 years. And they, are, they couldn't manage. They don't have profitability. After treating so many patients also, they, they are not able to make that, that setup profitable. So, and at the same time, we have a 10 years loan and after 10 years that our loan EMI has end up and we have hundred percent profit. So we have more profit after end, end of the 10 years and they, have, they are losing their patients as well as clinic locations after 10 years. So this is a huge difference I want to share today, rental versus buying property. So I 
always opt for the buying property if possible. And if you are, if you don't have budget, then initially two or three years to just get an experience, it's okay. You go for rental property, but it's I don't see as a long term benefits in rental properties when you're opening your own clinic. So of course uh, you need to improve your skill, keep upgrade. Uh, you should do all the advanced. You should learn all the advanced techniques like the in today's scenario, manual therapy, chiropractor, osteopathy, dry needling, cupping, taping. Everything you should know. You should do learn from the good. Uh, 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 you should do all the certifications. You should practice these techniques with your patients when you are in a hostel, uh, hospital posting or uh, in, you are doing internship. That time before that time. You should do all, the, all those things, techniques. One more question we are getting. So when we should start clinic? How much experience is required to establish or to start the clinic? So in Ahmedabad, for example, I say we have top five clinician practitioners. If you see our profile, five clinical trials, we don't have any, even we don't have one year experience after our studies. We all five have started our clinic from the day one without any job or anything like that because we for running a clinic you don't need a uh, practice of treating patient because th those things you have already uh, you during internship you have treated so many patients while second year third year final year posting also you have treated so many pa patients but what you need is that you need the ma good management skill when you are opening your clinical setup so as i said you should have financial management you should know if if suppose for your budget, if you're opening clinic uh, about 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs, so you should plan. If you have three, four lakh rupees, then you should uh, take a loan, bank loan or something like that. So which is, we get generally around eight to 9%. Bank offers good interest rates. So usually that 10 lakhs EMI comes 15 to 18,000. If you do one or two home visits, that also covers that your EMI. So there is no risk. Physio has the biggest advantage of doing home visits. So clinic establishment is going to take minimum two to three years. So uh, after two, three years, you are going to make good profit. So you need to survive for next two, three years. So you need to balance your practice with the clinic as well as home care also. So one or two home care, if you do with your clinical practice, that gives you stability of about your income. So this is how we uh, have planned everything so far and gradually you can increase your uh, charges when you, when you have good number of patients then you have more prof more and more profitability for example if i, I share o3 physio clinic in 2008 when we have started our o3 physio clinic so that time we have opened up you can say five patients and we used to charge 150 rupees so daily income is 750 rupees so monthly you can convert 15 hardly we get 15000 so we used to do one or two home care in that time, home care charges were not more than 250 rupees or 300 rupees. So 15,000 we used to generate from the clinic, 15,000 from the home care. So 30,000 you are generating. Out of 30,000, 15,000 you need to pay bank EMI. And in remaining 50,000, you need to manage your personal expenses. So initially, it looks very difficult. If you don't get patients or if you don't have home care, how we are going to pay those EMIs. But everything, you need to work hard for that. But gradually, once you make, start making profit, like we reach 20 patients opening, 30 patients opening, we have increased our charges to 200, 300 rupees. So 20 into 300 rupees, if you consider it, it's a 6,000 rupees. So monthly income is 150,000, somewhere around 1.25,000 to 150,000. So this is how we made calculations. And our EMI is same, 15,000 for next 10 years. So EMI is not going to increase. So we have a more profitability. So once we start getting more profitability, we, have, we are looking for the second clinic. So we purchase again second property. And same thing we did. Uh, Whatever we have uh, profit, we have given as a token amount. And remaining, we have taken loan for the second property. Like this, we have made chain of six clinics. So my, uh, why I'm explaining this, after 15 years, we have six clinics, daily OPD is 150 patients. Right now we are charging 700, 800 thousand rupees. So you can imagine that how that growth uh, is doing when you have own property. And whatever property in six clinics we have invested for roughly, for example, 
hello for for, for look, roughly if you take the first league we have invested 15 lakhs right now property is very expensive we are investing one cr so average we have our investment was roughly two cr but that property also grown up in 10 15 years so that amount has crossed more than 5 cr as well as month, uh, per day income if you consider one as a, if you charge 600 rupees per patient and you have 150 patients so 90000 to 1 lakh per day income o3 clinics is generating of course we have other expenses 30 plus physio staff and then marketing budget and everything but your your profitability is huge and the, and as we compare with our colleagues those who went for the rental properties they have had they need to shut down few clinics because they find challenging when first clinic they are taken on rent for 10 or 15000 right now rental was 50 to 60000 so rental is going to increase and even though they don't they don't they have not made any wealth like what we have created in property property wealth also has gone up so if everybody is not going to make a chain but if you're planning one unit you should plan this way only because this is my personal experience and my my story so i would want to share a few things this is the, this Financial management, nobody talks about, especially with the figures. Generally, nobody discloses their earning and everything. But why I want to earn it? Physio can on also generate the good number of amount. They can earn good, uh, 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 as you can say, we have one mindset, physio is not making good amount but like in, in terms of cross. Of course, the future is bright. Physios are doing well day by day. Even our industry is growing at the rate of 40% growth. So physio has huge demand in not only in India, abroad as well. It's a bright, you have bright future in different, different areas also. Initially, 15 years back when we have started. So physio, role of physio is very limited with the pain and some neuro conditions only. But right now, women's healthcare is doing good. Even anti postal, so many studios, workshops are going, they are going to conduct, and so many awareness in women's health also. There's a use scope, then use scope in geriatric physiotherapy also. Even corporates, they appoint physio for the ergonomics for their employees, like companies like TCS, Infosys, IT companies, or Reliance, or Adani, they have their physio, physios for their employees. So you have a use scope. You need to look for those scope opportunities. If you are if you are willing to do job or something, if you are to do different, there is a use scope. Like for example, we have started three four years back. We have started working with the film industries. So film industries have different uh, requirement for them. They want onset physiotherapist. So I don't know. Shital ma'am has shared my pictures with you or not. So we, we did few films in last three, four years. Uh, O3 was part of those uh, production house. So we have worked with the, the actors and actress. Uh, we have provided them physiotherapy whenever they are shooting or where, whenever, they, wherever they are staying at, at a hotel also. So we did, we are part of the Mitro movie. This is, recently you must have seen KGF chapter two. So I, I went to Hyderabad where they, they are doing shooting of KGF chapter two. So I was, I was part of that uh, uh, unit for three days. So I, I was I was there with the actor Yash and Sanjay Dutt and all uh, at Hyderabad uh, while shooting. Recently, I made uh, came to Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, one uh, shooting was going with uh, director Nitish Shah. Bawal movie was going there, Varun Dhawan and Janvi Sharar. So I came to consult them. Manoj Pawasar, he was having some shoulder issues and neck pain. So I came to Lucknow to consult him. So we provide uh, physiotherapy across the India where mm -hmm. they are shooting. So it's a different field and different scope. So you can also plan, you can also contact few production house, those who are interested, those who are ready to travel with the uh, uh, production house. There is a different, it's a different industry. So it, you have a different, you need to think out of the box. Like most of the physio things, after pass out, you need to join any clinic or you, you become faculty or you, you can work in the hospital. But out of these three things also, there is, there is a huge scope. So you need to uh, see, uh, make them understand what is the benefit, benefit of physio appointing at during the shooting time, what benefit they are going to get, even 1983 uh, uh, film. So the, its film is based on cricket. So 
all star cast is going to perform they have so many retakes so they are going to have pain in shoulder or legs and anything back back again all so on set is a must so you need to guide them you need to educate them so there is a huge scope in all fields even post operative rehab tkr thr so many uh, leading hot chains of physio uh, sorry chains of uh, near person hospitals are there like in amdad we shall be hospital they have so many clinics so they have also physio team for post operative rehabilitation exclusive physio home care team one more we have uh, concept is the home care only exclusive home care uh, companies are there like in amdad one alam company is there they are doing extremely good in home care they only see uh, they don't have clinics much but they are mostly foc focusing on home care so physio has tremendously potential huge uh, huge growth but you need to understand the market mainly so it's always you need to look for the demand what if you have demand then you, you you can charge whatever you want but of course you need to upgrade yourself with the all latest advanced courses techniques you should deliver results patient should get recover very fast those who are in pain if you give them good result definitely they are going to recommend or refer patients of course you do marketing nowadays marketing is also instagram facebook so many digital, digital media companies are there they do marketing for you but main thing is your patient when patient refers another patients that is the main practice of any clinical practitioners and this is how we have de developed our practice we don't spend much on marketing but our patients are only getting more and more patients this is how we have grown so future is good and my few these tips might help you about my clinical experience as well as we have worked with the films and uh, we i work with the indian team treated so many athletes at the national level international level and uh, we have uh, local types with the, so many sports academies like golf clubs table long tennis clubs we have few cricket academies we have tied with them so they, we need we have created just awareness with the coaches and of course coach once they start understanding the uh, my player is getting good result if i refer to this doctor and he is recovering very fast so they keep sending the you patients so you need to just deliver good result so we are getting patients from all the sports different sports in our at our clinic and of course patients so this is how we have grown so hope this story helps you motivating so anybody can do even when i i am talking about andrew lipper's uh, story so first time when i saw picture of andrew lipper's with sachin tendulkar in 2005 i was thinking about to reach that level and in 2012 when uh, india versus england match is going to host in ahmedabad so gujarat cricket association they here they called me for the indian team as a assistant physiotherapist so i went there and I, first time i met sachin tendulkar there so in, it took almost 8 years to achieve my dream so first of you should have dream one one goal then try to achieve your dream and everything is possible once you thinking about that those thing uh, one day i want to treat sachin or if you if you want to treat virat kohli or rohit sharma or surya kumar yadav so you need to start dreaming about those things and you should work accordingly wherever you are uh, you are from which city so initially first i would like to share is so uh, in, in whatever cities you are you are in delhi or mumbai wherever you are uh, you should know your area of interest if you like orthopedic or any sports uh, if you want to pursue a career in sports physiotherapy so then you look for the nearest uh, who, who is doing good in sports field you should join that clinic to learn the, how they do practice and all if you like neurophysiotherapy you should join any neuro rehab setup to so initially 6 month or 1 year just you understand how they work how they run clinic how they manage patients how they manage data how they do marketing how much they have invested how much they are getting returns on investment once you understand their business you should start your own setup otherwise there is no nothing like even we are getting series like five years experience and we asked them what is what was their future plan they said sir i want to establish clinic so then we asked them for what you are waiting for they they, they said we need some experience after five years experience how much experience you need to start clinic because it purely shows your in confident uh, so then we say we don't have that much experience when we have started our first, first clinic they say no you must be having financial backup and no 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 
so whatever i am uh, talking uh, uh, my sharing my success story so i have started from zero when i came to ahmedabad i was completely new to this city i don't have any backup in ahmedabad i, I was staying as a pg pain guest i was staying i was uh, when i first time i came to ahmedabad so from there we have started our first clinic we took loan we paid the repaid that loan and this is how we have made financial setups so that time i have only uh, why i am sharing this to just to motivate them when i came to ahmedabad i was having splendor bike then gradually after 2 3 years i have brought wagon r then grand i10 then honda city and 6 month back i purchased mercedes c class so i why i am sharing this if you have a dream you should plan that way you can you should achieve your dream there is nothing like impossible like physiotherapy can't by mercedes so so many friends have they said okay, no physio can't reach that level so of course physio can and th- that that's what i am here today when sital said ke okay, you should take talk something about your with my student to motivate something uh, to you take one lecture i said i am clinical practitioner i just usually don't take lectures but uh, he, she said just share your story so they feel motivated ke okay, everything is possible in life once you when you have goal and if you are try, trying hard to achieve your goal there is nothing is impossible so every if i can you also can the same thing and there is a huge scope you can imagine india has 130 crores population you can see how many patient each and every house has some pain or something some some issues so there is a huge demand of course only the thing is they they always patient look for the good doctor so you just need to be that 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 doctor so you, you need to upgrade your skill you learn advanced techniques focus on your work be discipline your dressing matters when you go to visit your uh, patient of course everything is matters how the way you are talking with your patient take detail history proper diagnosis and everything so i don't find any challenges like that physio it's clean opening a clinic is so difficult or something like that even for them also we have one one more options uh, we in few years we found that a few physio says ke sir we have very good knowledge very good skill treating patients my patients are very happy with my treatment but i am afraid to start clinic so for them we have created one franchise model so franchise model in that we provide our mentorship our brand name 15 years old brand name so we guide them throughout the journey so we help them to establish their clinic so we have a two franchises also one more very soon we are opening in mumbai also so that gap we are going to fill up so if so, so, someone is feeling like that definitely they should look for the franchise not for us even delhi also so many clinics they have started like franchise also you can meet them understand their fran- franchise model what benefit you have that franchise is going to offer you if deal is good then you should go for that franchise also there is nothing wrong right so hope uh, i have shared my story and you uh, feel motivated or something and uh, all the best to your for your future and there is a huge and huge and huge scope uh, about physiotherapy and so all the best to you if you have any questions you can ask yes sir hello yes, yes. Uh, good a- uh, good afternoon sir i am rehanadi from bpt fourth year i am glad okay. to asking you a question and for the session ma'am was sharing your story in the morning and i am interested in sports medicine currently and i have a question regarding how okay. to approach in a sports physio in a indian sports association and, and any other sports association which can be opted in yeah. after master degree yeah once you as well as you finish you get your masters degree in sports uh, therapy sports physiotherapy you should op- you have two options one is the state association and one is the sports authority of india so you can apply both the places and of course every 3 4 <laughs> months they have, they have openings of jobs so they call you for the interviews and there is a few uh, one or two trials and they they find you uh, and they they take interview and they can appoint you as with any team anywhere in india if uh, sports authority of india and like in, in gujarat we have sports authority of gujarat like you have any sports authority of uttar pradesh you can approach them also so there is a, so many sports vacancies 
and even you can apply even private clubs also private academies also you can apply to any golf course golf club or any long tennis club also you can ap approach the, to their coach or management so you, you can directly approach them uh okay sir uh, i have a next question regarding this okay. uh, but sir more uh, but most of the phase you are having a specialized game which can be uh, treated uh, specialized uh, athletes and uh, sportsmen so how can we opt it to a uh, interest for the particular sport for hello can you repeat the question voice was not clear most of the uh yes 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 sir sure Sir, most of the physio uh, sports physios having a specialized game, which can be dealing with the uh, common injuries regarding the uh, common uh, sports. So, how can we opt it? Uh, how to uh, decide a, a choice of this game which can be opted? No, see, sport, in sport, once you are a sport physio, you are not for the one specific game like cricket. You are sport physio or cricket or football. You should know how to deal with the all sports injuries. As I said, if you are specific, to, like I have worked with the Indian swimming team, so Indian sw swimming athletes have some limitation of injuries. So I don't want to keep my knowledge for only Indian swimming team. So I want what I did. I have, I have associated with the different different sports. So I can see football injuries also, cricket injuries also, swimming injuries also, golf injuries also. All sports are they different different injuries. So of course. The way of you treating with a tennis elbow, if you treat with a cricket or with the golfer, so the line of most of the approach was same. But if some injuries you specifically specifically find in such sports only, that's why those are the specifically limited to that sports. <laughs> Promote yes, good question. Never afraid from the competitions. Number one. क्योंकि आज समझो कि आज ज्यादा क्लिनिक है उस एरिया में वहां पे आपको डर लग रहा है आपने इसलिए ऐसे एरिया चुना है जहां पे क्लिनिक कम है लेकिन जैसे आपने ओपन किया आपके बाद में छह महीने में दस और क्लिनिक ओपन हो गए तो फिर क्या करोगे आप ओके सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग मी सो नेवर लुक फॉर दैट आप सिर्फ अपना ऐसा देखो कि मेरे को ये एरिया में मेरे पेशेंट्स मेरे को ज्यादा मिल सकते हैं मेरा कोई नॉन डॉक्टर है जो मेरे को पेशेंट रिफर कर सकता है या फिर कोई स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स उस एरिया में ज्यादा है या हॉस्पिटल ज्यादा है जहां पे मैं रेफरेंस ज्यादा जनरेट कर सकता हूँ आपको तो एक एरिया अच्छा सिलेक्ट करना है आस में पचास क्लिनिक हो तो भी आपको डरना नहीं है नंबर वन क्वेश्चन सेकेंड वाय आपको आप उनसे कैसे ज्यादा बेटर हो सकते हो उसका मैंने जो एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया कि आपको अपना स्किल अपग्रेड करना है क्योंकि ज्यादातर जो मिस्टेक होती है ना क्लिनिकल थेरापिस्ट में एक बार क्लिनिक शुरू कर देते देन दे डोंट अपग्रेड अवर सेल्फ मेरे काफी सारे कलीग्स है दे हैव क्लिनिक मोर देन 15 इयर्स 15 साल हो गए बट दे हैव नॉट अपग्रेडेड दे डोंट नो ड्राइन इटलिंग और कपिंग और मैनुअल थेरापी कायरोपेटर और फिर कुछ भी नहीं करते दे जस्ट टू सम मैनुअल थेरापी और दे मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दे यूज इलेक्ट्रोथेरापी तो so, आप अपने आप अपना स्किल अपग्रेड करोगे आपका पेशेंट डिफरेंस देखेगा उसके अंदर कि जब आपका पेशेंट डिफरेंस देखेगा भी यहाँ पे जाने से एडवांस ट्रीटमेंट लेने से जल्दी रिकवर हो रहा है तो पेशेंट ऑटोमेटिकली आपके पास ही आएंगे तो आपको स्किल अपग्रेड करना हाँ आपको आपका क्लिनिक शुड बी नीट एंड क्लीन आप छोटा बनाओ लेकिन बहुत ही खूबसूरत बनाओ अच्छा बनाओ जो पेशेंट को आने में अच्छा लगे वहां पे Yes. Sir, से लोन मिल सकता है सेटअप ओपन करने के लिए मतलब आपके इनिशियल सेटअप के लिए या रेंटल प्रीमाइस में आपको क्लिनिक खोलना है तो उतना लोन तो मिल जाएगा सपोज आप सम, कहीं पे भी बैंक में जाके बोलोगे एंड यू शो योर डिग्री आई एम क्वालिफाइड फिजियोथेरापिस्ट एंड आई वॉन्ट लोन फॉर माई क्लिनिकल सेटअप I wants to buy some equipment, so for do uh, I wants to do some furniture. So of course they'll sanction. Suppose for example, क्या साथ है loan में कि आपका दस साल दस लाख का project है, तो bank वो आपका project देखेगा, आपका आप location देखेगा आपका, और फिर आपको दस में से छः या सात लाख आपको finance करेगा. तो आप you should have remaining amount. आपके पास तीन चार लाख का budget होना चाहिए. जब आप दस लाख का project करते हो, you should have forty percent of budget. अगर बीस लाख का project कर रहे हो, तो आपके पास में आठ लाख रुपए होने चाहिए. 50 लाख का प्रोजेक्ट कर रहे हो आपके पास 12 से 15 लाख रुपए होने चाहिए 
रिमेनिंग अमाउंट बैंक एंड फंड लेकिन आपको बड़ा अमाउंट होगा तो तीन साल का इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न आपका जब हो जाएगा ना फिर उसके बाद आपको बड़ा अमाउंट मिलेगा जनरली जनरली कैसे बैंक काउंट करती है रिटर्न को जैसे मैंने इस साल दस साल दस लाख का सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं दस लाख का इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न भरा है दूसरे साल पंद्रह का भरा है तीसरे साल बीस का भरा है तो तीनों का एवरेज पंद्रह लाख रुपए हुआ तो पंद्रह लाख का पांच गुना तो बैंक मेरे को सेवेंटी फाइव लैक्स तक का लोन ऑफर करेगी मैक्सिमम तो अगर मैं बैंक से तीस लाख चालीस लाख मांगूंगा तो बैंक दे देगा अगर मैं बैंक से दो करोड़ रुपए मांगूंगा लोन तो बैंक मेरा रिजेक्ट कर देगी प्रपोजल सर वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द चैट सो समबडी हैज पुट अप अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द चैट दैट सर हाउ कैन वी डील विद द विलेज एरिया और रूरल एरिया एज अ फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट एंड हाउ कैन वी स्टार्ट अ क्लिनिक इन अ रूरल और विलेज एरिया रूरल एरिया इज अ ह्यूज पोटेंशियल मोस्ट ऑफ द थेरेपिस्ट हैव क्रेश टू सेटल इन बिग सिटीज लाइक मुंबई दिल्ली अहमदाबाद somewhere but रूरल एरिया यू डोंट फाइंड मच कंपटीशन इवन द रेंटल्स आर वेरी वेरी चीप even if you want to buy property also very easy easy to buy so if somebody is ready to settle in rural so there is a huge scope and a huge demand because pain is everywhere okay so only the thing they find the difference is the charges aap amdad mein 600 700 rupees le rahe ho ya delhi mein 1000 rupees le rahe ho to aapko rural mein wohi cheez 200 rupees mein rakhni but you get the volume samjho aap 200 rupees wale 20 patient roz treat karte ho तो डेली फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज का होता है तो आप महीने के एक लाख रुपए कमाते हो लेकिन रूरल में आपका एक्सपेंस कुछ भी नहीं है आपका समझो रेंटल दस हजार में रेंट में जगह मिल जाएगी दस पंद्रह बारह हजार में तो आपका सेविंग जो है वो अच्छा हो जाएगा सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड यू कैन यू कैन मेक प्रॉफिट इफ यू आर एस्टेब्लाइजिंग क्लिनिक इन रूरल एरिया और रूरल में तो आस के गाँव से भी काफी लोग आते हैं क्योंकि दस दस पंद्रह पंद्रह गाँव तक भी कोई क्लिनिक नहीं होता है सो वो माउथ टू माउथ पब्लिसिटी भी गाँव में बहुत ईजी होती है कम्पेयर टू सिटी एरिया तो रूरल एरिया का ऑप्शन अगर कोई ऑप्ट करता है तो इज ह्यूज डिमांड आई ऑलवेज वांटेड टू स्टार्ट इन रूरल मोस्ट ऑफ द हम चैलेंज कहाँ पे आता है कि स्टाफ डजेंट वांट टू सेटल इन रूरल एरिया हम अगर कोई क्लिनिक सेटअप कर भी दे रूरल में तो वहां पे स्टाफ मिलना चैलेंज आता है लेकिन कोई खुद अपना क्लिनिक सेटअप करना चाहता है तो दैट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑप्शन यू है I am Arujan from BPD final year. We are really mm-hmm. obliged to have you here, sir. I would, sir. At the time you have started, it was 2007, but now in 2022, competition is on the peak, and every mm-hmm. second is a therapist thing out of the box. Hence, I, hence, how can we manage this competition and use it in our own use? Yeah. See, when I have started my first training in 2008, and I am new to Ahmedabad. so you can think how difficult for me जब मैं वो शहर में ही नया हूँ मैं उस शहर के बारे में कुछ नहीं जानता हूँ तो आप कैसा सिलेक्ट करोगे अपना फर्स्ट क्लिनिक का लोकेशन सो दैट वॉज अ टफेस्ट पार्ट जो पहला क्लिनिक होता है ना वही सबसे चैलेंजिंग होता है एक के बाद दूसरा तीसरा तो ईजी होता है ओपन करना जो फर्स्ट क्लिनिक सबसे चैलेंजिंग होता है तो मैंने कैसा सिलेक्ट किया सो आई आई हैन रिसर्च गूगल पे मैंने देखा कितने कौन से एरिया में कितने क्लिनिक है तो एक एरिया में तेरह चौदह क्लिनिक थे एक में चार पांच थे एक में छह थे एक में आठ थे एक में दो थे एक में एक था तो मैंने जो एरिया चुना या सरप्राइजिंगली मैंने जो चौदह क्लिनिक थे ना वही एरिया चुना मैंने क्योंकि कंपटीशन से कभी भागना नहीं कहा जहां पे पांच क्लिनिक है वहां पे भी पंद्रह होने ही वाले कल और आज क्लिनिक ज्यादा ही होने वाले कम नहीं होने वाले कभी भी सो so, आपको तो वो सब देखना ही नहीं आपको सिर्फ आपके यू शुड है यू शुड बी कॉन्फिडेंट इन अबाउट योर स्किल अगर आपका नेचर अच्छा है पेशेंट को रिकवरी अच्छा है तो पेशेंट क्यों नहीं रिफर करेगा आपको उसके वो पेशेंट भी दोबारा रिपीट होगा और वो चार पेशेंट को लेके भी आएगा आपके पास में तो वो कभी भी ऐसे नहीं जाता है आप एक फॉर एग्जांपल आप सिंपल चीज हाउ यू डिसाइड योर डॉक्टर आप अपने कॉलेज से घर से कॉलेज आते हो उसमें बीच में पचास डेंटल क्लिनिक आते हो गया फिजियो क्लिनिक आते हो काफी सारे आते हो लेकिन आपको जब डेंटिस्ट की जरूरत पड़ेगी तो आपका कोई नॉन डेंटिस्ट होगा वहां पे जाओगे या तो फिर आपकी फैमिली जहां पे जा रही है वहां पे जाओगे आपको अगर कोई नॉलेज नहीं होगा तो आपके अपने फ्रेंड सर्कल या कहीं से पूछोगे भी कौन सा डेंटिस्ट अच्छा है तो दैट इज हाउ वी डू वी ऐसे नहीं करते भी गूगल में देखा ये डेंटिस्ट सबके सब घर के सबसे पास है उसके पास चले गए यू गॉट माई पॉइंट तो यू नेवर अफ्रेड ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन आप अगर क्लिनिकल फील्ड में आते हो तो बहुत कॉन्फिडेंट रहो जब आप कॉन्फिडेंट हो तभी क्लिनिक सेटअप करो नंबर वन ठीक है आपको कुछ भी डाउट हो वन परसेंट भी तब तक आप एक्सपीरियंस लो स्टडी करो मार्केट को 
एंड फिर आप थोड़ा प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस करो होम केयर करो एक बार आपका कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाए कि नहीं मेरे पेशेंट सही में अच्छे से ठीक हो रहे हैं और दूसरे को रेकमेंड कर रहे हैं तो सही में मेरा काम अच्छा है तो देन वंस यू गेट दैट कॉन्फिडेंस डिरेक्टली गो एंड स्टार्ट योर क्लिनिक बिकॉज लॉन्गर रन में आपका क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस ही आपको आगे ले जाएगा सो हाउ आई प्लान माई क्लिनिक्स सो मैं क्या करता हूँ कि मेरे को कोई नया क्लिनिक सेटअप करना है तो मैं काफी सारे क्लिनिक्स ऑनलाइन देखता हूँ ऑस्ट्रेलिया में क्लिनिक्स कैसे यूएस में कैसे यूरोप में कैसे है स्पोर्ट्स रेप कैसे दिखते हैं व्हाट उसमें सब कुछ दिखता है दे की वन ट्रेडमिल और वेट वेट्स रखते हैं ऐसा डिजाइन होता है ऐसा कलर कॉम्बिनेशन होता है ये सब चीजें तो आप एक आपको आपका एरिया के हिसाब से देखना है आपका लोकलिटी कैसा आ रहा है उस उसके अंदर तो आपका इंटीरियर क्या वी हैव यू विल गेट यू कैन हायर इंटीरियर डिजाइनर आल्सो सो दे आल्सो डू द सेम थिंग सो आपको उसको आप, आपका कॉन्सेप्ट समझाना है कि भाई मेरे को ऐसा क्लिनिक चाहिए मेरे को एक स्पोर्ट्स रेप सेंटर बनाना है सो दे विल आल्सो शो यू फ्यू डिजाइन भी आप ऐसे ऐसे डिजाइन कर सकते हो इतना जगह फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर फीट तो ऐसी डिजाइन होगी थाउजेंड स्क्वायर फीट जगह में ऐसे डिजाइन होगी तो आपको एरिया जैसा प्लान करते हो उस हिसाब से वो डिजाइन करते हैं फिर आपका लोगो डिजाइनिंग भी एक चीज होती है दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो लोगो आप डिजाइन करते हो उसको भी ट्रेडमार्क करा दो रजिस्टर करा दो क्योंकि वो कोई और सेम नाम कोई कोई नहीं रख पाए तो एक बार आप क्लिनिक में आप एंटर करोगे तो आपको ये सब चीजें हाँ आप आसपास के सारे क्लिनिक्स विजिट करो एक तो पहला जब भी आप किसी एरिया में क्लिनिक ओपन कर रहे हो उस एरिया के हर एक क्लिनिक को आप पर्सनल जाके विजिट करो वहां से वहां के फिजियोथेरापिस्ट को भी मिलो उनके सेटअप कैसे वो देखो तो आपको पता चलेगा नहीं मेरे को तो ऐसा बनाना ही पड़ेगा ऐसा सेटअप इनकी अगर इनसे कंप्लीट करना है तो माय सेटअप शुड बी लुक्स लाइक दिस आई शुड हैव दिस मच फैसिलिटी आई शुड हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स तो आपको एक मोटा मोटा आइडिया आ जाएगा और आपको आपका बजट कैसा है उस हिसाब से डिजाइन करना है पास में किसी ने बहुत बड़ा बहुत एक्सपेंसिव इक्विपमेंट रखे बहुत बड़ा सेटअप डाला है तो आपको उस हिसाब से प्लान नहीं करना है आपको लेकिन आपको ऐसा बनाना है कि आप उसको कम्प्लीट कर सको कि आपके पास में कुछ इक्विपमेंट्स ऐसे होने चाहिए कि आपके पास टेक्निक होना चाहिए इतना अच्छा क्लिनिकल स्किल इतना अच्छा होना चाहिए यू कैन कॉम्पीट विथ एम एंड एज आई सेड फ्रेंचाइजी जैसे हमारा फ्रेंचाइजी है सो वी हैव वन लेआउट कॉमन लेआउट तो हमारे सारे क्लिनिक्स का एक डिजाइन इंटीरियर टीम है फिक्स जो जैसे कोई अभी मुंबई में फ्रेंचाइजी की हमारी बात चल रही है अगर वो लोग लेंगे तो हमारे जैसे अहमदाबाद में क्लिनिकल सेटअप है सेम क्लिनिकल सेटअप हम मुंबई में भी स्टार्ट करेंगे विद द सेम डिजाइन सेम कलर कॉम्बिनेशन एंड एवरीथिंग So when will you set up in Muradabad? <laughs> you take franchise. <laughs> we'll start in Muradabad. <laughs> I guess I guess once they will pass out, once they have to pass out, <laughs> then you, they can never work with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is there any other question? Uh, so I guess uh, I guess most of the questions are done. So indeed uh, this. Uh, this had been a very uh, in informative session uh, involving the scope and role of physios apart from the clinics and academics especially that part where uh, hiren sir mentioned uh, the involvement of physiotherapy in the film industry with different teams and especially that example that uh, that people generally had the idea that swimming had didn't had any injuries and a major role of the physiotherapy so thank you very much sir it was it was a very inspiring session Thank you students. so much, and for our for us faculties too, and uh, we would uh, surely like to have uh, more sessions with you in the future on more practical or different aspects of the profession. So thank, thank you, you so much, much for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.